Yeah, we did that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Welcome, everybody, and thank you for joining me. Today, we are going to go through another Java coding exercise called Person. For you guys that don't know, I take these from Udemy coding examples. There's a link in the description below. So today we are going to read the problem, code it on the right side, test it on our own, and then test it against Udemy's tester on the left side. For those that don't know, we test it on the Udemy tester on the left side is because they test against all possibilities. Of course, we as programmers on the right side, we're going to try to think of all the possibilities, but we are one person and sometimes we can't think of everything, but we are going to sure as heck try. And we are going to start doing something a little different. We're going to start introducing OOP here. So let's get started. Write a class with the name person. The class needs three fields, instant variables with the names first name, last name, and type string and age of type int. Write the following methods. These are instant methods. And I'm not going to read through all of them, but basically we're going to have getters and setters of first name and second name, a getter for age, um, setters for first name and last name, a setter for age. We also have a little more work here to do. We are going to make another method called isTeen that checks to see if the teenager is between the ages of 13 and 19 included. There's going to be a link at the bottom in the description and also in the eye when we get to that part of how is teen works on its own i did a video on that as well and then we're going to do one more method called get full name which is going to get the full name of the person then we have something right here that says to check if a string is empty use the method is string from the string class for example, first name dot is empty returns true if the string is empty, or in other words, when the string does not contain any characters. Then if we scroll down here to the bottom, we have some test code, which we're just going to copy and paste in the test drive, which you can see right here on the right side. And then they have the test output as well. And as we saw, we're going to make eight methods. All the methods should be defined as public, not public static. And yeah, so let's get started on the fun stuff. Okay, so I've already created a persons class with the test driver. As you can see, I copied and pasted the test code over. Okay, so first things first is we're going to start writing out the variables we need that we know we need. And I'm just going to create some comments here to organize it a little bit. Okay, we have three instance fields. We know that we have an instance field of first name, last name, and age. And these are going to be strings. Private string last name. And for those that may be wondering why did I declare it private, these variables are declared private because they are only relatable to this class. We don't want them to be able to be called outside of the person class. Now we have all of our variables, instant variables or fields. So now we're gonna start with the getters. We're just gonna go straight down and call do a get first name getter. It's public string get first name and then return the first name. So we are going to do the same thing for the last name as well. It's public, and then get last name string, boom. There's that. Then we're going to do get age, and IntelliJ is nice enough to already have this ready for us. So we have get age, and then we're going to do the setters. Setters, same thing public first name, public last name, and public age. Boom. Okay. So now we have to do all the special requirements now that we just have the getters and setters set up. So let's see. 
We got all the getters out the way. The setters, we have extra work. So for set age, right here, it says with one parameter of type int, set the value of the age field. If the parameter is less than zero or greater than 100, it needs to return when the value is zero. So that's easy. We just throw an if statement in here that says if age is less than zero, I'm going to say less than or equal to zero. Because if it's zero, it would return zero as well. Or age is greater than 100. Return. I'm sorry. Set this age. We could do age. Oh, we can just say age equals zero. Yeah. Right. If age is less than or equal to zero or greater than zero, we're going to have age equals zero. We're just going to set it. That's all we have to do for that. Oh, and we forgot one method called is team. And we forgot get full name as well. So I'm going to minimize the set first name and set last name and get age since we're done with all these. Okay, so now we just have to do is team and name of team. So public static, we know is team is gonna return a Boolean. So it's Boolean is team. Again, if you guys check the I in the upper right hand corner, I'm gonna be putting a link to the video that further explains how is team works. So if team, it's a boolean. So it's going to take in the age. And basically if it's if the age is greater than 12 and less than 20, we're going to return true otherwise we're going to return false. So we do that with another if statement. So if age is greater than 12 and age is less than 20, we're going to return true. Otherwise, we will return false. Return false. Now we just have to do the get full name method and then we're going to test everything and then we will be done with this one. Okay, so get full name, we also know it's going to be public. We know it is going to be void. It says it's get without parameters, return the full name of a person. Okay. So it's going to be return string, I'm sorry, it's going to be return type string, and it's get full name, as we know, with no parameters. Now the first thing we have to do is check and make sure that the first and last name aren't empty. In order to do that, we are going to use the is empty. That was recommended to us earlier. So if last name is empty, excuse me, if first name is empty and if last name is empty, then what they want us to do is to return another empty string. So we're going to return an empty string. But if first name is only empty, then we are only going to return the last name. And then vice versa for last name. Don't forget guys, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, so if last name is empty, we're going to return first name, and then if everything is all good and hunky-dory, we are just going to return the first name. Put the space in between. And get last name. And it should be as simple as that. So let's go ahead and uncomment out this right here. Let's run it. I see we have errors already. So let's just try it. Oh. It says, is seen as a class that can't be applied. It requires an int. Percent oh, right, right. I didn't pass it. This be done. So we're going to do it with 15, and we'll do it with 10. 16 is supposed to pass a parameter? Oh, it has no parameters. Okay, well, let me fix that. I'm like, what? Errors. So. If it takes no parameters, the way we can do this is since is team will be ran after set age, we can get age here. That's what we can do. So we can just call the method get age rather than trying to set it. So now let's test it again. Okay, we got no problems with the build. I'm gonna test the build. Let's run it again. All right, so we got two empty strings here. They set the age of 18. We get the full name right here is only John. Because John was inputted later. The teen is true. We get the full name here of John Smith. After all that is checked. Because right here we can see a 10. It's not going to do anything, but 18 is within the range. That's what shows. So let's go ahead and set it up in the Udemy tester and see if we get it right in the first try. Check solutions. Dun, dun, dun. And we got it. So go ahead and leave a like. You know, you need to test it in play. And I want to thank you guys for getting this far in the video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. And leave any comments down below of any questions you guys may have or any other programming languages or concepts you guys would like for me to cover. And don't forget to continue to have a great day. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.